of show you the front of the so this is the front lower scoop on the e type and uh, I have to hold this light for a second but you can see where that damage is there on the back where that um, round bit is caught on it and unfortunately on the other side as well so we don't need that because it's only on one side so we'll cut that one off uh, and try and shape this one a bit better so it's not so maybe put some kind of rubber over it to try and help but definitely what's happened is is um, Sean Coyle uh, from BMC Workshop he said to me it's not the fact that that lever is doing it every time you lift the bonnet up that's the bonnet fully lifted there so it isn't that um, the the the, the uh, movement on is okay it was what we did is we took this lever out here sorry we took that lever out there um, and left this on and that's when it hit the front unfortunately still you live and learn but I might make something a bit better than that I don't like the idea of, uh, of that rod hitting again so the only way to do that is on the scoops on the e-types you can see inside there you can see these uh, six is it six self tappers in there you can see how, how the system works this is uh, going into the air box and uh, this one goes into the heater, if I remember rightly. Yeah, this is the heater box, and that's the air box. I'll just check underneath, I'm sure if that's right. Yeah, I'm sure that's right. Yeah, there you go, that goes into the heater there. And the other side goes into the top of the carb. Yeah. Yeah, it fits, the, the, see that bit on the side there? It goes up there and into this, into this plenum. Does it? I can't remember. Well, maybe it just allows heat through the plenum. Anyway, so, so what we have to do is, to fix that, we have to push it out with some kind of ball object. So what I'll do is, all I have to do is take them six screws out of there, uh, take that tray out, and then bend them down again. So that's what I'm going to do. But it was a good call by Sean. I, th I thought, you know, let's check it just to make sure, you know, so. Anyway, there you go. You live and learn. Anyway, so you can see all the back sculpted in. Um, these, um, the, the actual chrome bumper, which is huge on these XK 150s, goes comes right up to here. In fact, the the boot lid just about misses it, and then the overriders are here. Um, and this is where the main brackets go in to go onto the chassis. So you don't see any of this, even though all the work we're putting into it. And then these go over the top like that uh, to put the bumpers through, the bumper irons. And then there's this edging that goes on the edge there. But as I said, you can see there that the gaps are much better. It's rough on the bottom, we've still got to sort that out. But it's getting, you can see how much nicer that it is now. It's just rough on the bottom. And this is definitely getting better. You can see the shape is much nicer. Still not 100%, but yeah we're getting closer to it so we're gonna put get this one fixed up make sure the profile's right on this side and then get the wing on and see and then we go from there and we can probably get three quarters of the body of the shell in uh, in uh, body shuts or stone chip um, and get it covered so we've got no problems with with rusting you can see we've got to cut back some pieces bits and pieces here and there but generally it's getting there. So we should be able to get up to uh, this front panel in here. The front the front floors in these are wood. Um, but we should be able to get all this done, all the tunnel, the tunnel cover, the boot area, all the underneath, up to the doors. And then we'll only have the doors and the front bulkhead. And that's the most complicated bit because there's such a, a lot of um, you know, contour and shape in them. So even though all that's been put on back new, this is new, 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 everything. <clears throat> I tell a lie. These side lights are new. The pods are the original ones, but we took them off because there was bad rust underneath them. And they've all been lead loaded back in, which you can see in videos from two or three years ago. But we've had the car for quite some time now. So, And you can see it's starting to shape this door as well. Now you can see how the shape is much better there now. Not right, but it's getting there. So, all of these jobs coming together. So lastly, going on to the, the Golf Mini, uh, you can see that those 
wheels are they don't fit the arches right now they don't look right but they're not they're not uh, wide enough so I'm, I've got some sevens 13 by sevens which we'll put on and they fill that arch nicely but it'll give it a better stance it'll when we were at the track yesterday at Pierce Racing or the other day depending on when I put this video up um, it uh, I, at a fair speed going round the oval which is pretty much left 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 all the way around uh, it was starting to skip at the back end so it definitely needs this uh, rear anti roll bar um, it definitely needs the bigger boots I've got them but they're wets on it at the moment I've got a set, two sets of wets on 13 by 7 so I'll need to make one of them a medium compound dry um, and then we sort this pedal box out get this pedal box completely sorted out so the brakes are much better and I'll put the less um, heat required uh, pads back in again uh, the only reason I bought the racing ones I thought it was just because they were just overheating but it wasn't It was because the pedal was being uh, the, the hydraulics of it was being contacted and the lights were staying on not just from an electrical point of view but they were staying on hydraulically because of the mechanism of the uh, pedal box so we need to fix that and the other thing I'm going to do is buy some new harnesses for it those harnesses are shit and they won't go through uh, scrutiny on a hill climb for sure the only thing I think I might have an issue with is that roof uh, because it had a, had a sunroof in it but that is aluminium so and it's got a full full cage roll uh, roll cut it's got a full roll cage in it so I might go over there if not I'll take it out and weld a piece in if that's that's what it comes to um, so there's a few things on on the horizon with this uh, yeah and I've just heard from I got a message from uh, Lewis a young friend of ours this is, uh, I know him through Victor, who came to PS Racing with us yesterday. Unfortunately, Lewis was working and couldn't come. But he sent me a message saying that at the Red Bull ring, which is the F1 circuit, uh, you can book for a 20 minute session, free racing or free running, 20 minutes and it's 49 euros. So at 49 euro, even for 20 minutes, um, you get two, you're gonna get three of those in a day and that's a brilliant track. I've driven it in my in my E-Type. I drove the Red Bull Ring. Uh, so if, you, if you're interested, you can go back and have a look. I wasn't going around particularly quickly because I was holding this camera in my hand and trying to steer and change gear. So um, I just followed around an XK, uh, might have been a Mark 10 or, a, or something, some other Jaguar from the club that was there. But it's a beautiful circuit. I mean, you could land a jumbo on it, it's that big. So yeah, 49 euro, I'm gonna have some of that. So I'll get all these things sorted out on this. The downside will be waiting to stuff come from the UK because I'm hearing some horror stories um, about stuff coming over here and they're just getting silly with taxes and sending shit back. My sister sent me a, uh, my wife's birthday's on the 1st of April, 2nd of April and mine's on the 1st of March and my sister sent cards to both of us four weeks ago and when she just got them back, they were turned back for whatever reason. It's just getting fucking silly. If there's not enough of nonsense in the world with all this woke and entitledness and everything else, sorry to have a rant, but Jesus, fuck me. People just need to fucking grow up and just, just use some common sense instead of, I want this and I'm offended by that and, oh God. Anyway, sorry about that guys. I'm just gonna make, a nice, make it nice and short. So. That's the plans for what we've got here. And uh, yeah, we'll get through it and show you as we're going. So as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby. Yeah, and have a little rant now and again, doesn't it?